As we mentioned, 15 people have been killed in this fire. We're beginning to learn more about them. I spoke with one man who lost his aunt and uncle and is also waiting for news about the fate of his mom. I am um, feel deeply impoverished by this. And it's the first time in my life that I felt that, and I felt poor. The loss is mounting for Ziggy Roserge. His aunt, Millicent Kataransik, and uncle Philip Rubel died in the North Complex West Zone fire. He is also waiting to find out about his mother, Susan Violet Zerz. He hasn't heard from her since a phone call on Wednesday. They had managed to pack, to pack the two cars and get all the animals and get everything together. And she uh, was telling me that they were starting to unpack. Ziggy overheard his uncle say he was looking at some promising containment numbers, but that wasn't the case at all. You know, I, I didn't yell at them to get out of there, which is what I should have done. Butte County Sheriff Corey Honey said in a news conference, Phil was found inside of a burn pickup truck. Millicent was found near another car down an embankment. Ziggy tells me investigators also found human remains on the property but have not identified them yet. I want to know what happened. I want to know why my mom wasn't in, in, near them. You know, um, she's still technically missing, but I, my hopes are very, um, you know, they're evanescent. You know, they're just disappearing. Ziggy is choosing to remember his mom on this day, taking a break from the summer heat her strong spirit needing rest. I'm her only son and she and I were very close. She was a fantastic mom in every way. Um, you know, she was brilliant and creative and uh, added just infinite value to my existence. It's devastating. And as we know, this fire season is not over. It's important to be plugged in to emergency alerts in case of an evacuation. You can sign up for these free alerts through Nixle or Code Red. Both send evacuation information right to your phone. We have more information on how to sign up on our website, abc10.com links.